Hi, Don Callis here from Four Dogs Stove, and here we are at the uh, winter 2014 Winter Camping Symposium at beautiful uh, Camp Miller by Sturgeon Lake. And I'm here with my friend uh, Jason from uh, Lester River uh, Bushcraft. Hi, Don. Uh, how are you doing? Good. Um, I've known uh, I've known Jason now. It has to be going on uh, oh eight to ten years. Uh, I've known him when he was starting out. He's starting to do some knife making. He had a real interest in wilderness travel and camping, and he's, I've really seen him grow since then, and it's, it's been really satisfying. And now he uh, has his own company, he uh, makes wonderful knives, he's uh, known for the wool uh, pullovers, made from uh, basically a really kind of a 2014 model of the blank, traditional wool blanket shirt. Yeah. And uh, we've done multiple uh, winter hammock hangs, he came to the first uh, Frozen butt hang that was here held here in Minnesota would be going on almost four years ago, and then also the second one helped out quite a bit. And um, I'd like to thank you for coming here. And uh, would you tell us a little bit about how you like what you're doing? Well, I tell you what, uh, my introduction to all of this was probably I well, I've always had an interest in the bushcraft and in the wilderness skills as a kid. Uh, started in scouts real young and then just kind of got away from it for a while and then I started coming to these things and I met Don and Don knowing mores and kind of got more and more into it and it kind of just gravitated into what it was now and uh, worked several jobs growing up you know worked full-time jobs since I was probably 13 in the summer times sure. and I wanted to do something for me so I thought well if I can find something that's a, a hobby and a passion and somehow turn it into a business then We'll have accomplished something. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, you know, when, when people can integrate oh, yeah. how, what Absolutely. they like to do, how they live, and yeah. how they play, we, we yeah. really have to consider ourselves some of the hap luckiest people on earth, don't we? Oh, yeah. If you can take your passion and somehow make that what you're driving force and how you're earning li living, you know, that's going to be, it's going to be uh, pretty rewarding. Pretty rewarding. Yep. Yeah, and what, uh, you know, it's kind of like, I think you're kind of a lot like me and like Tom. When we were younger, people would nowadays, like, and when I was a kid, we were considered just a normal kid. You just had to go work off your energy. But don't you think, you know, uh, uh, being quote unquote ADD a little bit, which oh, we yeah. both are, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I think, you know, gives you that kind of gumption to go out and try different things. And, oh, for uh, sure. A good driving force of wanting to get outside and experiment and try all the different flavors from spring yeah. camping to winter camping. Yep. You know, when it's 25, 30 below, I think what that one year we went out on that first frozen block, oh, yeah. it got 25 below. Yeah. And uh, everybody had the opportunity to find out uh, yeah. what worked and what didn't work. Baptism by fire but, a bit. <laughs> well, then uh, I think this past winter you went up to uh, Karamat. Yeah, and it was cold. Yeah, but 40 below most of the time you were there, wasn't it? Yeah. And that's pretty, that's where Celsius and Fahrenheit meet, I believe, is right. that the negative 40. That's and it right. was, yeah, it was, you know, you had a lot of experienced people in that group. And by day six, seven, you could see the look in everybody's eyes that it was okay that it was nearing the end. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was appreciating, a, a, you know, a warm shower again and just the, it, it really gives you a perspective of the things we take for granted every day. Right. And you don't quite get it until you've been away from it just long enough and just miserable enough, even with some comforts, <laughs> miserable enough to be like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm all right to be done. <laughs> you know, well, it's it's good. Well, I, I think it was really neat when you called me. I know you were kind of hesitating because of the cost to go up yeah, there and everything. Yeah, yeah. And you'd, you'd done yep. courses that I'd sponsored with Morris yep. here, down here. And I know you called me and you're kind of, well, what do you think I should do? And, you know, like kind of career development, I guess you could call it. And I yep. said, you know, I says, you go up there, you do that winter course, with good luck, could be, if it, with any luck, it'll be 40 below. Yep. I says, by you immersing yourself for that week, it was definitely gonna push you up to the next level. Yep. And just that being around that, that knowledge and that, uh, uh, the people that have that many years of doing, yep. I mean, w wouldn't you say that did really Oh yeah. Put yeah. you up, you know, more from yep. university level to graduate school yep. level by having done that? Yeah, I do. I think there's a lot of, you know, and by putting yourself in that situation, and I'd mentioned it with the immersion course we did here, when you get to that point, you, you know, the, the level at which you're learning, it changes so much, and the confidence, you know, a lot of the skill sets are there, but I think until you, you're put in that situation, and it's, it's the confidence, the lack of confidence, and then it's the repetitive, repetitive nature of the things that you're doing over seven days versus a weekend workshop, right. where you're touching on a whole bunch of things, but you're maybe not getting the, uh, 
you know, you're not getting the, the constant repetition. Right. And when you get that compiled with just, uh, you know, you know, the same group of people even is kind of good. You start getting comfortable with one another. I think it's easier to let your guard down a bit. Right. And you, it's, it's conducive for, a, you know, a good learning good environment. Learning yeah. yeah, that well, was good. great. You, yeah, it was good. Before we finish here, do you, yeah. you got any good suggestions for people starting out, how they can you know, develop their skills? Uh, what, what have you found for yourself that's helped you do more and get better? You know, the biggest thing I think I see, and we saw it yesterday in the Open Bushcraft Forum, which we're doing here at Camp Miller, uh, you know, you get a lot of folks that they want to come in and they do, and the biggest thing when you go to something and you have people around who know something, grab them, pull them to the side, and don't just listen to it and write it down, do it. Get yeah. your hands on it and do it, because yeah. so much of this stuff, I, I hear so much, and it's, it's great that you're reading and you're studying and you're learning, but you got to be doing because it's applicable knowledge. No, it it's in theory, it's all fine, but if you can't do it, the task, and you gotta do it, and do it again, and do it again, and once you're good at it, keep doing it. So my biggest thing would be get out and don't just watch it, don't just go to a, you know, a seminar, or a, and you know, just sit as a spectator, but participate. No, I think and I think that's key to, key to confidence and key to doing everything. You, you have an expression you've shared with me in the past that I really like is that, you know, just don't get it, get it dirty. And, yeah, and that's, yeah. you know, Morris I, has another saying, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, get it, use it, use it hard, maybe even use it up, and yeah. then, you'll, then you'll know what yeah. to do and how to do it. And, yeah, and absolutely. And I would say, you know, yep. get out there and do it. So, yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks, Jason. Appreciate Thank you. it. Yeah. Thanks for coming, and it's been a great time. Thanks, Don. Right. Wonderful. All right.